Topic, New Empires and Kingdoms About Prashastis Samadra Gupta was the famous ruler of the Guptas dynasty. About 1700 years ago, Harishena composed a Sanskrit poem named Samadra Gupta from a long inscription. Harishena praised the king as a warrior king who won victories in battle. This inscription is known as Prashasti and is inscribed on the Ashoka pillar at Allahabad. What Samadra Gupta's Prashasti tells us? Harishena depicts policies of Samadra Gupta's towards four kinds of rulers. The nine rulers of Aryavrata were uprooted and their kingdoms were made a part of Samadra Gupta's empire. The twelve rulers of Dakshina path surrendered to Samadra Gupta after being defeated. He allowed the rulers of Dakshina path to rule again. The inner circle of neighboring states, including Nepal, Assam, a number of Gunsangs in the northwest and coastal Bengal brought tributes, followed his orders and attended his court. The rulers of the outlying areas such as Kushan and Sakas and Sri Lanka offered daughters in marriage. Geographical Preview of Various Dinner Cities Ancestors of the ruler. So Madra Gupta's mother was Kumara Devi. She belongs to the Lai Gana. Chandra Gupta was his father, who was the first ruler of the Gupta dynasty. Chandra Gupta II was Samadra Gupta's son. Chandra Gupta II's court was full of learned people, including Kalidasa, the poet, and Aryabhada, the astronomer. He led an expedition to Western India, where he overcome the last of Shekhar. Harshvardhan and Harsha About 1400 years ago, Harshvardhan was a ruler of Danisa. Banabhata, his court poet, wrote his biography in Sanskrit, named Harsh Charita. Shurhanzang spent a lot of time at Harshay court and left a detailed account of what he saw. Harshar became king of Danisar after his father and elder brother died. His brother-in-law was the ruler of Kanuj, who was killed by the Bengal ruler. Harsha took over the kingdom of Kanuj. He surmounted Magadha and Bengal and tried to cross the Narmada to march into the Deccan, but was stopped by Pulek Shine II, who was the ruler of Chalukya dynasty. The Pallavaj Chalukyas and Pulek Shine II The Pallavaj and Chalukyas were the two ruling dynasties of South India. The kingdom of the Pallavas spread from Kanchipuram, their capital, to the Kaveri Delta. Pulek Shain II was the ruler of Chalukya. His kingdom was centered on the Raich Urdu Oa. Ravi Kirithi, court poet of Pulek Shain II, composed Prashasti. Ihola, Chalukya's capital, was an important trading center and a number of temples. How kingdoms were administered. Kings adopted a number of policies which were reasonably effective in winning the support of economically, politically, or socially powerful men. Important administrative posts were now hereditary. At times, many posts were held by one person. Important men, such as chief, banker, Leader of the merchant caravans, chief craftsman, 
head of the Kayastas or scribes or merchant of the city, had a say in local administration. The King's Army The King's Army is equipped with weapons, elephants, horses, camels, chariots, cavalry, foot soldiers and military troops. This huge army was accompanied by musicians beating drums and others playing horns and trumpets. Villagers had to provide hospitality along the way. They received grants of land because they were not paid regular salaries. The army left a trail of destruction behind. Elephants often trampled down the huts of villagers.